I have something that I want to share. And it's a valuable lesson that I learned from my mother's mistakes that, um, you know, others can learn from. She was a good child of Elohim. Her consort, on the other hand, was from the other side. And she was always spiritually warring with this man without realizing it, but her prayers would keep him away, and she didn't realize that. This is why he was never just always there. He was in and out, especially after I was born. Do not think because you're a child of the Most High that you could surround yourself by evil and not be affected by it. Because she did become evil and she did lose her battle. This woman is the daughter of a day, okay? And of a man who is, you know, it's like her parents were so divine that, oh, it, uh, she was supposed to be a very powerful priestess, a mumble in Haitian tradition or religion, and a healer, a dream interpreter. I remember growing up, we would always wake up every morning and tell her about our dreams. She was, but, you know, we tend to think that, <laughs> excuse me, something in my mouth, <laughs> We tend to think that because we're children of the Most High, we don't get affected by the evil ones. There is no real help that the devil will ever give you. It will always be an illusion. Like, she suffered so much more at the hands of whatever help she received from Jacques so-called her I mean or whatever and um children of the most high is not supposed to be around evil ones because <laughs> you got children of the most high who's imperfect like who the who, who's perfect and then you got children of the other side and i really believe in my heart we're supposed to stay away from those on the other side i don't believe that their intentions will ever be to to truly help us. I, I don't believe in accepting the devil's help because it's always going to come with a price. And, and, and that's something that, you know, a lot of people don't realize you become what you're around. And, you know, <sighs> children of the most highs were strong and everything like that, but only with the Holy spirit upon us, only when we're whole, only when we're complete. And even when you reach that level, you're not there to surround yourself by devils. You understand? You're, you're supposed to be around other children of Elohim. So I think that's the greatest lesson of all. If you surround yourself with good people, you become a better person. If you surround yourself with evil ones, you know, like they help whatever it is. It always comes with a price. And they're going to bring out the worst in you. So there's really no point. You know? And um, when you realize how fragile we are as creations, you are cautious with yourself. You are cautious. You tread with caution. Because scriptures say, oh, the flesh is weak. It is. The flesh is very weak. We can Humans are so easy to be hypnotized. That's why that's one of the biggest weapons in Rome is repetition. They repeat the same advertisement to you over and over again until you want that food they're promoting. They play the same song over and over again to the point where if you originally hated the fucking song, you'll start to like it. Like, we're very easily impressionable. The mind is like a computer. You can easily store crap into it. You know, it's just... There's a certain level of... You know, it's just fragile in this flesh. Now, the spirit or whatever, the soul, that's 
that's a different thing, but that's all being housed within a temple that's fragile. So it's like in a mind that's easy to kind of corrupt. Even the most high said it, like people's true nature deep inside, even his own, which is why most highs don't even trust his own best angels. Because there's evil within everybody. Our brain is part fucking reptilian, man. We have good and bad naturally, no different than the universe got galaxies and then it has black holes. Like, we have all of that within us. 